and so the mulch will kind of filter it out and contain it well. But the, the mulch helps. I think the most important thing is to make it easy for people. Like I understand that there's a cost, you know, involved with installing the system, but the reason why sprinklers just go off all the time is because they're set on a timer and no one wants to actually be manually changing that timer all the time or, you know, it rained so no one's going to turn it off. So, you, you know, you walk in the rain and you literally see sprinklers still, you know, putting out water and you're like, well, that's really wasteful, you know, because it's actually raining now. Honestly, I think maybe we're all a little like into convenience and so the easier you make it for people to make those choices, I think then it's easier for people to want to adopt them and, you know, do something. I think most people inherently want, you know, to do things that are environmental, but the idea of like composting or even recycling sometimes is just kind of tedious for people and so it's hard to get people to do it. I had a two-year-old son, we planted a whole bunch of fruit trees in our yard, and we would go out and water them with about 50 gallons of water, and then I'd give them a bath, and I'd watch 50 gallons go down the drain, and I, it was just maddening to me that we couldn't recapture this. You know, yeah, you can do sustainable buildings in architecture, but it's not as immediate. Like, this is very gratifying to me. It's problem solving. It's direct. You know, there's a, there's a very tangible benefit to recapturing water, using it a second time, saving water, and keeping that water out of the sewer system, which is another source of, of waste. Uh, you do like a one inch, Lee? Uh, oh, for, for the holes in those things? Yeah. It's actually this one. It's, uh, it's this uh, inch and a. like gently used water doesn't have to go into the sewer system where additional chemicals, additional energy is added to it, you know, oxygenation, settling tanks, and it's flushed out into the Santa Monica Bay where it can create more problems. It's much better to put that water into the water table where it will percolate down and become part of our um, aquifer. We're doing really well. The phone's been ringing off the hook. Um, because of the drought, people are starting to become intensely aware of water shortage, where our water comes from, and how expensive it is. So I've been getting a lot of calls. We, we have back work backed up for about two months now.